Okay, my Facebook Live friends, let's try a second take and see if Facebook will cooperate. Uh, hello there, my crafty friends. It is Candy here from SweetStamper.com, and I tried this once a few minutes ago, and Facebook it just shut down the video, so not sure what that was about. Um, I can guarantee you I'm not sharing anything controversial here. We are purely stamping, and we are in a positive, creative space. And just having fun, I'm introducing one of our new in colors today. Super excited about that. And um, I am working with a new tripod. Hey, Kay, you're here. Okay, so let's see if we can um, hopefully get things going in a better place this time. Hey, Barb, I'm glad you're here. This is our second take today. So uh, hopefully, let's see. Yeah, we're about 10 minutes in, which is... Not my, you know, I have quite a bit to share with you today, so I was trying to get right into it, and then, yeah, as soon as I pulled the uh, camera down, hey, Velma, I'm glad you found me again, and Kay, um, as soon as I pulled the camera down, it kept saying that my, you know, the video, that was pausing, it was interrupted, yeah, I tried and tried, had to just abort that mission and start over, so thank you very much for your patience, and with that, I'm going to go ahead and pull camera down so we can get started with what we're doing today with introducing Fresh Freesia, one of our gorgeous new in colors. And um, I'm going to be stamping with you and also giving you some tips about some of our new packaging for our photopolymer stamps. So it's Teach Me Tuesday, I'm in teaching mode. I've got a lot to share with you and so here we are. Okay, so I'm back, and hopefully uh, I'm back where you can actually see. Now, Gail, you're saying it's still saying that I'm stopping and starting. I'm hoping that that is going to quit. <laughs> okay, Crystal, thank you for finding me and uh, being patient with this and coming back to me. So what I want to do today is introduce Fresh Freesia, this new in color. That is not Fresh Freesia. Fresh Freesia is here. It is absolutely lovely. This is one of my in color bookmarks. I've been mailing out the new catalogs to my, uh, my customers. So if you have not yet requested a catalog, hey Bonnie, thank you for finding me again. If you have not yet requested a new catalog from me, let me know that you're wanting one. I think I'm, oh, I think I'm doing the wrong way. <laughs> I'm trying to get back in camera a little better and I think I'm going the opposite way. Hey, Darlene, welcome, welcome. So we're introducing Fresh Freesia and this is it right here. And this is the M Color Coach, uh, com Color Combo Coach that Stampin' Up! provides. And what I wanted to do was show you briefly the differences with our other purples and how Fresh Freesia lines up with them. So this is Highland Heather. This is Gorgeous Grape. So you can see that there's kind of a, a nice little um, trio of colors there. This is definitely more pink, so I think this is a better combination. And this is actually in the combination chart here, so that's what uh, Stampin' Up! is recommending we pair with it. However, <laughs> I think that this is a little bit more of a pinky purple. And look at it next to Rich Razzleberry. I think that is gorgeous. And then there is um, Blackberry Bliss. So I think this, I, I, it's almost like this is a chameleon purple. To me, it goes really nicely with Blackberry Bliss and Rich Razzleberry. But it also goes really nicely with... Gorgeous Grape and Highland Heather. So, super versatile, which I love, but I think you can definitely see the difference. And so Fresh Freesia is right there in the center. And um, can you show it with our pinks? Um, you know what, I, I could, I would have to go off camera and grab those card stocks. Um, I will also tell you that I wanted to just show, this is what is retired, is retiring and this is um, Purple Posy. I believe that all the Purple Posy products have sold out, but if you have it, I wanted to just show it to you. It's super pale, 
It's what I call an icy purple. But I did want to just kind of show you because you probably have purple posy in your stash. And there it is right next to it. You can definitely see how Fresh Freesia is more of a pinky purple. But it works. So I think that these colors, you know, it's a, I, like I said, I think it's a bit of a chameleon color. Now, Stampin' Up! does provide us with these awesome color charts, color combo charts, and these are just the recommended colors, which I like a lot. I use a lot. So um, we might just venture into that a little bit today, although I think I'm just gonna concentrate on the color itself, Fresh Freesia. I also wanted to show you that there is a little bit of a new way that Stampin' Up! is packaging our um, photopolymer stamps. So when you get your new photopolymer stamps, and this is one of our new bundles, which is what I'm featuring today. Hey, good afternoon, Laura, I'm glad you're here. So this is, hey Alice, welcome from Indiana. This is the bundle that I'm uh, sharing with you just a little bit today, just a little bit of a peek into this. Um, when you get your new photopolymer stamp sets, what you'll find is they're gonna look a little different when you open them because you're gonna see all of this backwards um, printing here. Well, there's purpose in that. So, you know, instead of having this kind of knock around in your stamp case, what you can do, you don't have to, you can leave it just like you always have, but what you can do is you can take all of these and mount them like so because they're super sticky, I think that this is just a great way to store your stamps with as little fuss as possible. And then they're ready to just grab. Now you see I'm not, okay. You gotta get them kind of in the right spot. Now I won't um, bore you with putting all of these in place because it does take just a couple of, you know, takes a couple of minutes and you know me. I'm not very patient, so, but I will tell you what I've done with a couple of others, these new stamp sets, is once I finish all of that, you're going to have your clear pieces left, and I actually want to keep these. Alice, thank you so much for sharing my video. That I really appreciate that. What I'm doing is I'm tucking these in to this little spot right here, so that if I decide I want to use those again for any purpose they're right there, they're handy. I can grab a hold of them. If I decide that this is not a better situation, but you know, honestly, ladies and gentlemen, I love this because they're not knocking around in your stamp case. Now, I mean, it's not a big deal, but I love the fact that Stampin' Up! is always working to improve our experience with our products. Oh, that one goes up here. Always, no wonder I couldn't find a spot for it. Always working to improve our experience with the products. Um, in the way that they're stored, as well as in the way that they work for us. So I really appreciate, you know, just a little detail. And I love that we have um, the choice of either way. Well, which I said I would, wasn't going to do this whole thing, but you know what? I will just go ahead and do it. This is Color and Contour is the name of the bundle. I think you're going to want to add it to your wish list. This was one of the items that we could get on our pre-order. As demonstrators, we can pre-order a select number of products from the new catalog. Hey, Simone, thank you for sharing. And Kim is here from Michigan. Welcome. Um, we're able to pre-order certain items from the new catalog. Now we can't, on the annual catalog, we can't order everything. And that's because Stampin' Up! is in the process of clearing out the old, and that is the retiring products, and making way for the new. And it is a transition, so it takes time. And um, so we have the ability to order a certain number of products. And this is one of the ones that I chose. Now, let me just also show you that nice you see how that doesn't there's no shaking I really like this um, here are the dies that go with it now look at these stitched I mean they're scallopy ones these they're they're kind of doily like in many ways some of them are stitched some of them are not which I love look at this great 
scalloped border. And then we have flowers that will um, cut out the flowers in the, the stamp set. You have some excellent greetings here. I'm gonna be using your absolutely amazing. And you know what, one of the things I think about a stamp like your absolutely amazing, on the inside you could put thank you. On the inside you could put happy birthday. I mean, there's a whole host of things that you could put with that. So it is a photopolymer stamp set, which means that for best practices, what I want to do is I want to use this little firm foam pad, this little um, piercing mat, it used to be called, I think it's called just a foam mat now. It's like the perfect thickness and the perfect foam density for our um, photopolymer stamps. So let me show you what I'm going to do on stamping today. Actually a super simple card, but it is a fancy fold, fun fold. I will give you the measurements. Um, this is actually something that we did in my team meeting. And we did something called mystery stamping, and I'm thinking about trying to bring it in here and do it with y'all. So mystery stamping just means that I gave everybody the measurements for this, and then said bring whatever you, I gave them like colored cardstock, five and a half by four and a quarter, because this is a quarter sheet. Um, white or vanilla cardstock, five and a quarter by four and then um, colored cardstock in, I think this is five and a half by uh, two and three quarters, and then scored, and then a piece of designer paper scored, and then I just told them some kind of a tag. And Bonnie, thank you so much for sharing. I really appreciate that. Um, so people did all kinds of fun things during our monthly meeting they had these measurements and they used all kinds of designer papers. They did all kinds of tags. And so I wanted to recreate the same card using this new stamp set, but I wanted to use this gorgeous, gorgeous paper that is in the mini catalog. And there's two methods in my madness with that. First of all, this, cat this uh, paper is available all the way through the end of June. So while we have a lot of things retiring from the annual catalog, in fact, all the papers save one, we have all these papers in the mini catalog that we still get all the way through the end of June. What that means for you and me is that we have more paper, I think, than we've ever had that we can get and we can use right now. So we have all the papers that are in the mini catalog plus all the papers that will be available in the new annual catalog beginning May the 4th. That is a really sweet deal because I love designer paper. And this is so cool because you can use it plain or you can add color, which is what I did on this card here. Now, on this one, I used Magenta Madness, which is one of our end colors that was introduced last year. We get it for another whole year. And um, this ribbon is actually on the last chance list. I think it's, I think it's reduced. Um, hey, Diane, welcome from cold North Texas. And thank you for sharing, Kim. You have a poor connection too. I'm so sorry. You know, we've had major Facebook connection issues today and I'm not sure why. Um, this is the True Love Designer Series paper. And I think you definitely want to make sure that you get this, get this on your um, wish list and get it in your basket before the end of June. I will say this particular pattern is great for fussy cutting those big, gorgeous flowers. They're almost like a stamp. Um, and then lots of background papers and focal paper. Yeah, lots of gorgeous papers. So all that being said, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take that piece of paper and I'm going to add fresh freesia. So let's just see how it comes. Alice, you're getting snow. God bless you. You know, one of our friends lives in Kansas City and he had posted this morning on Facebook, uh, we're enjoying spring and his picture was out on his back deck and it was absolutely covered in snow and I was like wow <laughs> wow having had an unprecedented snow I'm looking for my sponge dauber here we go 
earlier this year. Yeah, I, I could, I can imagine that that would be an interesting, um, woo, an interesting predicament. Um, I meant to get just a little bit of ink and I got a little more than I intended, but that's okay. See, I'm just gonna spread it out so that I don't have just a big circle of it. And this is just a little soft way of bringing in that fresh freesia. It is kind of a medium purple. I wouldn't say it's super soft, um, kind of a medium purple, definitely a pinkier purple. You know, I probably should get a little bit, let me grab a uh, piece of scrap paper to put underneath me. Oh, you know what, I was gonna show you. It's on my blog. Yesterday I did a, I did a card for a blog hop I'm on um, that went out yesterday and um, it featured this color, Fresh Freesia, along with Soft Succulent. And I meant to, I have it downstairs and I forgot to bring it up to show you. Say la vie. Okay, so let's see if we can just get a little bit more color here. I'm thinking that looks pretty nice. So now, when I put this on that black, you see how nice that nice contrast is? And it really showcases the purple. But then, I'm gonna bring in this Fresh Freesia ribbon to just top it all off. So, let me do, I'm actually gonna do, hmm, I was thinking about doing two of these, but maybe I'll just do the one. Let's see. How are we doing on time? We're actually doing really well on time. So, let's see. Hmm. Oh, I know what else I was gonna do. Before I close that up, isn't, aren't these little tags sweet? So this is part of those dies. And I don't know if you can see, there's a little, like a slit here, but it just kind of, it's not all the way through. So this is gonna become my tag. I'm gonna end up covering up a lot of that. Hmm, let me go, let me see if I go the other way. If I cover up less. I'm wanting to make sure that I have plenty of this purple coming in. Um, you just saw that card a little bit ago. Oh, Kathy, thank you. I'm glad you liked it. Yeah, I did. Um, I was really happy with the way that came out. It was my first real opportunity to use um, one of these... Uh, a couple of these in colors, and um, like I said, I've been busy packing up classes, getting my um, catalogs in the mail for my new new catalog recipients. Now this, you are amazing, is going to go right on this white tag. I'm hoping that I get it right on there. It's a tight fit, but I like it. This white tag reminds me of a doily. Isn't that gorgeous? I love it. So that is going to go on and let me grab, I didn't get my adhesives out before I came on. I got a little bit flustered because we had our, um, we had our, um, mishap with the Facebook Live feed, had to shut down and start over, which was not part of the plan. But you know, my experience with Facebook is be prepared for anything because anything could happen. Now, I just know that I probably should close that up. What I wanted to try was to see if I could get a little bit more of this fresh freesia in by using this little paint spatter stamp. So let me grab this, put it on a block. Now I've already mounted this, but let's see. Let's see how we get on. I need this here. And let's just pop it here. I, I will say the reason I can get away with this and not be too concerned is because I'm, I've got a black background. And so if any of that fresh freesia, oh, I like that. If any of that fresh freesia uh, gets on the black, it won't show up. I'm liking it. 
I'm liking it. Can y'all see that? Let me bring you down just a little bit more so that you can get a little better look. I'm liking that color a lot. Fresh Freesia. And you know, I think that one of the nice things about putting it on this black and white background is it really gives the color a chance to stand out. Now that's gonna go here. Which way? I want to make sure that I end up, okay, let's just go with it and see what happens. I mean, honestly, this black and white stripe is really pretty too, and I could add color to that. Lots of cool ways to add color to this paper. And that is going to go right there. Now, the trick with this little fun fold is that if you put your adhesive there and then tuck that around your Whisper White, I basic white, you know what I mean, um, then you get the perfect, let's see, I did several, I was experimenting with different, um, what's the word I'm looking for, measurements on the fold. <laughs> well, it needs to go there. And then bring it down so that I have all the way down to the bottom, come on. There we go. What I think I'm gonna do is, because I ended up with several score lines there because I was experimenting, but you know, the thing is, it's on black, and I knew that once I put it on the card, those score lines would end up being hidden, the ones that I used beforehand. So that is now ready to just be popped right on like so. That's why this fold is just super easy, super forgiving. Doesn't also take very much cardstock, which is kind of a nice, you know, if you're making a lot, whoa, oh. Well, that's the end of that. And I don't have a refill handy. So I think what I will do is I will just switch over to my liquid glue, which is over here. Gail, hello there. I didn't even see you here. Welcome, welcome. So yeah, you're, you're getting snow as well. I will say we're having really gorgeous, cool spring weather, which really, for me, beats the heat because I am not anxious for the blistering summer heat to come. We, we usually have too much heat. Many of y'all have too much cold. Be nice if we could meet somewhere in the middle, but you know, <laughs> that's just kind of the way it goes. Okay, so now it's looking good. I'm really happy with that. I am going to take some of this beautiful, beautiful, um, what's it called? Oh, I see what I did. This is supposed to be a different color. You know what? That's why this is throwing me off. Okay, let me grab my, I'm gonna grab my little, um, my little mini boss. That's what's wrong. That's why there's too much black on here. And we are going to use that new die. I'm trying to case my own card and I was not following my own directions. <laughs> Okay, so isn't this ribbon, I will tell you, this is called Open Weave Ribbon. It is, in all the various in colors, new in colors, it is a dream to tie with. It's very light and has a little bit of shimmer on it, and I absolutely love it. Okay, let's see what we can do. Let me get my mini boss over here, because this is... Just a small little tag. It will easily fit in the mini boss. And I will get all of my plates lined up here. 
I'm gonna grab a little piece. Oh, you know what? I was showing you these colors and that little piece of cardstock that had um, fresh freesia cardstock. It was with all the purples over here. Perfect. And I can get the set of dies is right here. So I need this one, the second largest, and I need one, two, ooh, that's got a lot of color on it, and then two, and this is going to go here and here and here. Okay. Now I'm on, who helps if I get that lined up. Okay. This is what I was missing. I thought, you know what? There needs to be more purple on this card, and I couldn't figure out why it was not doing what I wanted it to do. You know, this is going to kind of shift on my paper because I'm on a paper. There we go. I have this paper underneath me, and it's kind of shifting a little bit. Okay, if you don't yet have a mini boss, it is only $60, and I think it's a great buy. Voila, look at that. Boom, boom, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And if you're a demonstrator, you can purchase one of these really nifty, this is actually an insulated um, lunch bag, but this, and we can get this as demonstrators, but your mini boss perfectly fits in this bag. So that is what I just keep it in, and that way I have all of my little pads and everything in one spot, dust-free in there. So if you're a demonstrator, you will want to go to the supply list, and that's where you will find that. Oh, that's exactly what I was needing. And if you're not a demonstrator, then I am going to just invite you to join Stampin' Up! and join my Southern Sweet Stampers team because you have nothing to lose and everything to gain. Oh, I like that. Now we're cooking with gas. Look at there. I'm happy with that now. That's exactly what it needed. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop that. I am still kind of covering up that. You know what, I'm just gonna put it up a little bit higher. See, I, I did strategically place this where I would get a lot of the flower exposed because um, I want a lot of that to be showing. So I think I'm just gonna do it like so. And that is a perfect showcase for my new in color fresh freesia and you can see how soft it is compared to um what do you call it um yeah i did put that up on dimensionals compared to um magenta madness i will tell you personally magenta madness is a little bit much for me <laughs> So I like to use Magenta Madness in small amounts like this. This color, I can tell you, I'm going to be using in large amounts. Oh, I've got rhinestones kind of cutting off. And I decided that although there are some gorgeous, gorgeous in-color um, embellishments and things, I'm just going to go with clear rhinestones, um, just our basic rhinestones. And the, I'm going to use quite a few of them, and that is going to help me to further showcase, ooh, I think that right in the center. This is going to help me to further showcase the beauty of this color, because really what I'm wanting to do here is to show off how pretty this color is. And you see how when I put the rhinestone in the center of the color, how it brings out that color even more. So I'm just going to kind of keep going with that theme. 
And I think I can probably get in one more right there. And there I have this sweet little fold. Very easy and just a little bit of cardstock. This is a quarter sheet here and this little flap, I think it's like five and a half by two and three quarters. And then I just scored it at one quarter inch so that I could tuck that in right here. And see how even when you open, how it has that little pretty bit of ribbon and a little bit of that fresh freesia right there. So that is my introduction to Fresh Freesia today. And I'm going to be doing what I have uh, previously done with the new in colors, and that is to introduce them one by one and kind of help you to fall in love with them. And also I'm going to be using the trusty um, Color Combo Coach to help us find some great color combos to go with that. Um, I do have new catalogs going out with my pretty bookmarks. And if you do not have a new catalog and are in need of one, don't have a demonstrator already uh, sending one to you, just private message me right here and I will be happy to pop one in the mail for you. And um, what else was I gonna say? Oh yeah, I have a new in color club that I'm taking reservations for, and that's where you can get every kind of everything of the new in colors one at a time over a period of five months, because there's five in colors. So you get and I, I don't I don't do a full pack of cardstock because sometimes you may find that you don't need a full pack of evening evergreen. I mean, that may be it's a very strong color. It may be that you only need a little. So my color club is very affordable, and um, I believe it's $39. I'm doing a lot of different event um, pricing, but I believe it's $39, and it's five months in a row. That does not include your shipping if you need it shipped. But you get, like, I think it's four sheets of the cardstock. You get the matching designer series paper. You get um, the marker, you get the um, blends, all kinds of goodies with it. So um, I think, do I have the paper right here? Maybe, no, but I might have the designer paper right handy, but I do not. I am in the throes of many things here. So that is it for Teach Me Tuesday. So we learned all about our new in color, Fresh Freesia. I am absolutely in love with this beautiful soft purple. We looked at how it stacks up against our other current purples as well as, um, as, well as um, the outgoing um, purple posy. And we also looked at how best to use the new packaging for the photopolymer stamps. And I love this. Open and it is just not shaking around and you can just grab. Grab and go. So that is it for today. Thank you so much. I know quite a few of you have shared my video already. I appreciate that so very much. So let me just say goodbye, bid you farewell, and um, thank you again for tuning in. Hey, Dudley, I didn't know you were here, and Nancy. Um, so if you're just coming on at the end, be sure to watch the replay, and you can back up to the beginning. Um, I deleted the first one we started, and then, yeah, we couldn't get, the Facebook feed was not cooperating, so I just stopped, and we we started, but I deleted that first one because otherwise it gets confusing. So I'm glad you liked the card and um, thank you so much for tuning in. I will be here Thursday for simple and stepped up stamping. We're gonna continue on with the in color theme. So uh, be sure to tune in at two o'clock on Thursday. Thanks again, take care and God bless.